Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see what are your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below. Okay, bottom of the deck you have the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords to me tells me that there's some sort of conflict or tension, some sort of stress that this person is feeling now with where the two of you are at with regards to this connection. Okay, so it could also indicate that they feel there's opposition here. So someone or something may be opposing your connection with them and it's interfering with your connection here. The Eight of Pentacles tells me that this is something that they want to work through. This is something that they obviously want to reach towards a resolution with you. Okay, um, with regards to their thoughts, feelings here, this is someone who I feel like is invested, okay? Uh, someone who has developed feelings for you or is developing feelings for you. I do feel like this is someone who wants to take it slow and some of you may be a little bit frustrated with the pace in which this person, you know, this connection is heading in. So some of you may feel like this person isn't necessarily quick to make a move. They're not always initiating conversation or communication. They could be a little bit shy. They could be a little bit withdrawn, a little bit reserved here. They may need a little bit more reassurance that you're in this, okay, or that you're really interested in them. Just that energy, I guess, to feed off. So, and, you know, if, if, if it is a male energy or like a masculine type, type of energy, I'm picking up that this person maybe is doesn't really pick up on subtle hints. So you're going to have to maybe be a little bit more obvious here for this person. Um, but essentially, I do feel like this is someone who they're not in a rush here because I feel like this is someone who, you know, wants to head towards the Four of Wands energy and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is someone who does feel as though this connection feels very destined. It feels very faded. They have a feeling like you're a soulmate type of energy. They haven't felt this way before. They feel like you're someone very special. And they feel like they were meant for you and you were meant for them. Like the two of you were meant to cross paths. This is the other reason why they're taking things so slow. Because they just want to... They don't want to lose you, okay, and they want to sort of enjoy every phase, every, you know, every phase or every stage that the relationship is at. And this is someone who I feel like wants to settle down. I'm getting that this person is very traditional, like they want to settle down, they want to get married, they want to get engaged, they want to have a home or build a home here, have a family here, children. They want a lot of children, actually, and this is someone, you know, and this is why it's important for them to find the right partner to to you know do it all with because i feel like this is someone who is very i don't think they've had a very stable upbringing and this and as a result this is why they want it so badly for themselves and for their children here because they want to break certain patterns um you know certain cycles or certain conditions here so this is why they're not in a rush i'm also seeing that this is someone who isn't very much of a risk taker so they may be scared to make a move here or they may be scared to open themselves up because they may they may fear your rejection, okay? And it, it, it would be such a burn and such a sting for them that they're not sure that they could deal with it. So this, this is the other reason why I feel like this person is a little bit, you know, um, a little bit maybe closed off or a little bit shy, a little bit um, withdrawn here. But I do feel like this person wants a future with you here. So whatever it is that you're going through here, if there is some sort of opposition here, because I feel like this person feels as though, I'm not sure if it's a connecting energy here who's opposing this connection, or I'm not sure if this person is fearful that they, that you might have romantic suitors here, and they're scared that 
you know, there's other romantic competition here that they have to compete against. The opposition could also be like, for example, your family or your friends may not necessarily approve of them or of this connection. Opposition could also be other things, something that's obviously getting in the way here. I feel like this person wants to move things forward with you, especially they want to move on from this very stressful, very tense um, situation here. They want to communicate. It's like they want to clear the air with you. I don't know if you've walked away from this person, okay? I don't know if you guys have had a tower moment or if you're going through a tower moment or if you're going to be heading into a tower moment. This person feels like you, if you walk away from them, you will take like so much with you because they really do see a future with you. They really do see um, something very loving and loyal and stable for this connection here. And they're scared that if you go, you take all of those possibilities with you, right? Now, you may have had some sort of tower moment with this person um, where something he is getting in the way of this connection. Some sort of shocking revelation, something, you know, that is being exposed, <laughs> something that is obviously strong and powerful enough of a force to um, collapse this tower. So, you may be, yeah, I feel like some of you are at a disconnection or discord with this person you're going through a separation a breakup um, or just this really uncomfortable period you could be going through something very challenging with this individual um, and things don't feel very sturdy right now they don't feel very safe here they feel like they are on the brink on the edge of losing you they feel as though maybe there's something here that's happened and they don't know how the two of you can recover from it like they're very worried here they're very they're feeling very stressed i feel like they're losing sleep i feel like they're they're really on edge here i don't know if they owe you an apology or i don't know if they're expecting an apology from you here um or if they feel like they have to explain themselves it just feels something here has happened and it feels like it's really rocked your relationship with them and it's now making them or you question a lot of things here um but to me with justice card it's almost like someone here has to hold themselves accountable or has to be held accountable so they may feel as though they owe you an explanation they owe you an apology they may be a feeling of guilt or remorse okay they want to come in and right or wrong they want to make things right but they're so fearful that whatever has happened here between the both of you maybe just maybe it can't be repaired maybe you're not interested in getting them a second chance or maybe if they don't act fast enough you know this competition that they feel like they're up against could just swoop in there so I don't feel like they're feeling very safe, okay? I don't feel like they're feeling like very confident in this connection purely because it feels a little bit shaky, it feels a little bit unsteady, a little bit unstable here and whatever it is that you're going through right now, this person doesn't know if the two of you will be able, to, I mean they want to but they don't know if the two of you will be able to patch things up again. But the Wheel of Fortune here is an indication that they're, they're hopeful, okay? They're, they're hoping for the best. But kind of expecting the worst, if that makes sense. And even though they want this, you know, four of wands. They want the four of wands with you. Right now you have this ten of cups where it's, the, the sorry, ten of pentacles. Where it's just such, there's such an imbalance. There's such an unsteady kind of energy here. A lot of unease here. If they owe you an, expo an apology, sorry, or an explanation of some sort, I feel like they are really, they will be coming in with this. But right now, I feel like they're trying to think things over. They're mulling things over in their head is what I'm seeing. And remember how this person isn't always very quick to act. So maybe they're waiting for you to reach out first, okay? Um, or maybe they're just trying to think up of the right thing to say because they don't want to make anything worse. But I do see some sort of, I see the scales being balanced again and i feel like this is someone who's going to work who's going to want to put in the work okay who's they're going to want to try and fix something or they want to try and work on this connection here because they essentially they do want this four of wands and if you leave you take that four of wands vision away with them from them so they will be chasing you 
they will communicate here and I feel like this tower moment and they know it it's really if the two of you can get over whatever this tower moment is then the two of you can conquer you know any other obstacle or barrier that comes along it's really a test of how committed the both of you are to making this work because that's what great relationships are you know all relationships experience difficulties and challenges but it's how you overcome them that matters most right and this is what this person's mentality is they know okay that you deserve each other and that you deserve to get through this but right now it's just not looking very it's looking a little gloom for them gloom and doom but they're hopeful they are because they feel as though the two of you were destined you're meant to be and you know they want you they want you in their future here because you have bought them you have bought them a lot of happiness here you have all right guys and these are your messages so thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing subscribing i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages stay tuned bye for now